a memorable experience for the little ones as the sub-region stop swimmers made a splash at the Rodney Heights Aquatic Center in St. Lucia for the 30th OECS Swimming Championship held on the weekend. The event has not only met the competitive watermark, but has also made a significant contribution to the island's hospitality sector. Well, this is a great example of sports tourism. Almost 400 persons in St. Lucia, swimmers and the family and relatives. So it means that the rental companies for vehicles are smiling right now. It means the hotels, these individuals are smiling. As a matter of fact, um, in my conversation with the president of the St. Lucia Aquatic Federation, Eddie Hazel, a few nights ago, they were scrambling to find additional Airbnbs for persons who are in St. Lucia for the swimming event. And uh, so the benefits are there. With limited air transport within the sub-region, Airlift and accommodation for teams posed a serious challenge for the St. Lucia Aquatics Federation. As a major post-COVID event, the swimming championships not only generated high interest, but would inevitably come at a cost. And um, in our discussions with the Ministry of um, uh, Tourism, uh, St. Lucia Tourist Board, and all of, all the stakeholders, they are now requesting from us a two-year application. Um, to send to them in if we have to host any games. Now we're still in the forefront of hosting Carifta, but we still have, uh, we, now we have to make the application to all the hotels, all the guest houses, all the AB, uh, ABNBs, two years in advance uh, to actually book rooms because it was a, you know, it was a real eye opener and it was a real challenge for us to do so. The atmosphere at the event, though competitive, proved exciting and fun for parents coaches and kids who were not camera shy as they danced to music and cheered the teams. I believe swimming, they have a culture of, you know, parental involvement and I really want that emulated um, in other sports. And so you would see a bumper crowd at the Rodney Heights Aquatic Center featuring parents and family, relatives of the swimmers and the support is tremendous. Team Antigua and Barbuda eventually emerged as winners of the 30th OECS Swimming Championships and are set to host the event next year in the Twin Island Nation. Marvin St. Louis, reporting from the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports.